Bye everyone, happy Saturday. And I'm back in the house. It's not great, it keeps raining. Uh, we did venture out to go get some groceries in, but uh, they were queuing everywhere, so we came back and uh, we did an online order. So uh, we'll wait for that to get delivered. I thought I'll uh, take you through what I've been stitching this week. So uh, let's go and see. So this is my pile. Now, uh, when I was on holiday, I bought some key rings. So uh, my uh, Disney stitches have now got little uh, bag charms to them. So I can easily identify when they're uh, in my stitching basket. Um, but they're all Disney related. So that's those. Not that I've been stitching on them. So these are the ones I'm going to show you, which is uh, the flower flower path one. Um, I have nearly got to finish on the uh, Mount Fuji jigsaw puzzle and I'll tell you a story about that. Uh, Laura mentioned uh, this one, so I pulled it out and I've been stitching on it. Um, and that is a companion piece to this one, uh, which uh, my sister-in-law bought me. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, I've not started that one yet, but uh, I can't wait to start it. Uh, but beautiful uh, kits. And then also another one my sister-in-law bought me for my birthday, and I've been stitching on that one as well. So uh, let me get them out of the wallets and uh, I'll show you how far I've got with them. I've really enjoyed uh, keep picking this one up, the French breakfast one. Uh, and I started down here uh, and at the first I started getting all this. It's sort of like a pearlescent uh, white. Uh, and then I got fed up of stitching that and I've been sort of working in here. Uh, and then I've I've been uh, just picking up main symbols really and uh, trying to get a bit of progress on it. And then last night I started to work up here on this building. I think from the front though you can hardly tell what I've been doing. And from the back you can see uh, a bit more of the progress uh, but I really enjoy stitching on this one it's just um, I think it, oh and I, I, yeah I started on the bird as well trying to get the tail feathers in so uh, we'll see how much more I get done on this I think I need to concentrate in one particular area and then I might see uh, more progress on this one. My favourite uh, is, is, is this one and I just love working on it and I did stay in one area but then I started uh, down here and started to get these flowers in so now what I'm thinking is I'm going to try and stay just in this column and uh, we'll see if uh, I can get any more progress on it. But uh, it's stitching beautifully. I love it. And uh, my friend Laura sent it this to me. And she's stitching on it as well. Such a beautiful kit. I love it. Laura also mentioned this one, uh, that she thought she'd put it into her uh, basket and ordered it. And it was a girl with a straw hat. Now, I've had this quite a while now. Uh, and I absolutely love sunflowers. Uh, and I just love the whole colour scheme of this. And uh, with Laura mentioning it, uh, I picked it up again. Uh, I did a bit more up in the sky. The majority of this was already done previously and then I've been uh, 
picking up symbols and uh, getting all the uh, wheat sheaves thin. Uh, my only observation with this uh, is this bag is a lot darker than what's on there. And I do remember at the time uh, checking I'd actually picked the right colour up uh, and I had. But it's just they're not comparing to how light this picture is. So uh, it is a lot darker. The skin tone is a lot darker. But uh, it's a lovely kit. I really enjoy working on it. I've just got too many that I like. And uh, you can only obviously stitch and make progress if you st stick to one. And the last one I'm going to show you is Mount Fuji Jigsaw Puzzle. And I thought I was going to have it finished this weekend. Um, and all the stitching is actually done. It's just the back stitching. And I've actually run out of thread uh, for a back stitching colour. Uh, now I still need to do all the half stitches on here uh, and I need to back stitch the koi. I need to do a bit more back stitching on this but I've actually bought uh, a charm to uh, put on there uh, because the pattern it's not really clear uh, what I'm what I'm should be stitching uh, on on that la lantern and it's it w it won't show that so I think they needed to mark it out in a different color because uh, they've actually used yellow and it's it's not showing. Maybe if I took a picture, I might be able to do it. I don't know. Uh, but what I did, I just Googled for a charm. And um, I'm just going to sew that on at the end. I think it'll look a lot better. And then the back stitching is done there. There. I've got the dragon to finish. That's done. I've got some back stitching to do in there. I've done that. There's just some around these yellow leaves. This is all done. So there was a lot in there to do. Uh, this is done. So yeah, there's not a lot to do now, uh, but the colour I need for back stitching is colour 15, which is 3371 and it's a brown colour. So I'll see if I can find any in any of the other kits that I've got, or I might just end up using a black, because black and a brown, it's... Uh, you're not going to tell too much and uh, I just literally stitch these and then roll them up and put them in a footstool so uh, it's not a, a big hardship if it's stitched in a different colour. I've just got to put a line on here and then it has like a, a dangle bit here but that's been a lovely stitch. It's a very full canvas, that one. Loads of motifs. So, uh, I know Laura's stitching this and she's changed the colour of the bridge. And I think if I'd have seen her video first, I think I would have changed, changed the colour as well. And I would have also lightened the water as um, I think it's too dark. Uh, and it's awful to stitch on this purple. It just sends your eyes crazy when you're doing half a stitch. That I were even toying with the idea of washing the canvas 
and then just doing my half stitches afterwards because I wouldn't have this awful purple distracting me uh, so I don't know that's that's sort of putting me off now finishing this um, but I will find another colour where I can do my back stitching just to at least finish it uh, I'll put a picture of the charm that I've purchased for it and then when it comes I'll sew it on and I'll show you then so uh, that's it for now uh, I don't know what I'm going to be stitching on this afternoon um, I, do, I do really like this one I might do a bit more down here um, and that's it for now so uh, I hope you have a good afternoon and uh, I'll let you know what I've picked and uh, I might be back with a, another video so take care everyone thanks for watching bye